be the glory. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the virtual worship ministry of Turn It Around by Faith Ministries. And we're here to give God praise and glory this morning. For truly, you and I have made it by the grace of God. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible declares where two or more are gathered in the name of Jesus. He said he would be there in the midst. Amen. And somebody this morning, amen, you may be surrounded by family. Amen. You may be going through something this morning. Amen. Your heart might have been broken. Tears have been shed. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody, somebody this morning, amen, you need a touch from the Lord. Somebody this morning needs to know that the Lord has not left you, nor has he forsaken you. As the psalmist sings in the background, the blood of Jesus has never lost its power. We're in the midst of a change, amen, in the midst of our lives, in the midst of ministry, in the midst of even those, Lord, that walk among us, that walk with us, Lord. We're going to begin to walk this journey, Lord, amen. Somebody's going to depart. Somebody's going to leave this life, but be assured this morning that the Lord is with you this month. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you right now, in spite of the sickness, in spite of the tears, in spite of the heartache, amen. In spite of the disappointment, God is with us. Amen. Amen. You've got to believe this morning. You've got to make up your mind. I need somebody in the spirit this morning to make up your mind. Amen. That the Lord is with you on this morning. Amen. He's keeping you in spite of what you've experienced. The psalmist said earlier that our trials come to make us strong. Our ups, our downs, everything that we're going through is coming to make us strong. The devil is a liar. Amen. We're not defeated. We're not destroyed. We're not cast away. Amen. We're not forsaken. Amen. We are lifted up. We are kept by the power of God this morning. Uh, it's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood of Jesus. Amen. He shed his blood. Hallelujah. He shed his blood. Amen. That you and I who believe in him this morning, we have the right to the tree of life. Amen. I don't care what it is, amen, that you've been experiencing. I don't care. Amen. We stumbled along the way. Amen. We've grown weary along the way. But the Bible says, be not weary in well-doing. Keep doing, amen, that which you know is good in the sight of God. Amen. I know sometimes, amen, people may walk away. I know sometimes people may forsake you and betray you. Amen. I know sometimes loved ones, amen, may cast you aside. But I want to tell you right now, there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Amen. You might have got an evil report from the doctor. Amen. But we have a physician who has never, has never, amen, lost amen a patient he is the true doctor amen he is the healing doctor he is the delivering doctor this morning amen then all you have to do is come under his blood just daily 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 just stay under the blood of jesus amen i feel good in my sanctified soul this morning in spite Amen. Of the changes in spite, amen, of the things that are moving, amen, in this world. Amen. I feel good in my sanctified soul. I'm not talking about an emotional feeling. I'm talking about a spiritual feeling that I'm standing on the solid rock that is Jesus Christ. Our Lord, hallelujah. So I just want to say God bless you this morning for those who have come aboard on this morning. Amen. God has made it clear to me. He has made it clear to me. Amen. In the spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm to serve him with every breath I have. I'm to serve him no matter what situation I find myself. I'm to declare the goodness of the Lord. I'm to declare the ways of God. I'm to declare the Lordship of Jesus Christ in the land of the living. And while the breath remains in my body, while the Lord keeps me in my sound mind, I'm going to declare, amen, it, it is the the, the highway, amen, that leads, amen, to heaven, and it is the highway of righteousness. God bless you once again. Oh, we just thank God this morning. Somebody, amen, you need a word from the Lord this morning. Somebody, just share this with somebody. I don't know who this will touch this morning. I don't know who this will reach this morning, but somebody, amen, needs to tell God, thank you. Somebody needs just to honor him, amen, and all that you are experiencing this morning, just tell God, thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you that it is well with 
my soul. Yes, Lord, I've been down in the valley. Yes, Lord, I've been in the midst of my storm. Yes, Lord, I've been in the midst of the darkness, Lord. But you are my light. Hallelujah. You are my strength. You are my hiding place. Amen. Yes, I've been forsaken. Sometimes I feel alone. Sometimes I feel misunderstood. Sometimes I've been lied on. Hallelujah. But the Lord is with you. Amen. Amen. Sometimes your body, amen, has pain. Sometimes things are happening in this old vessel, amen, that feels strange. But be assured, the Lord has not forgotten you and he's not forgotten me. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for all the good things that he continues to do in your life and mine. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Praise you, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you once again for all who have touched all who I need your prayers this morning. I need you. I need you to be praying. Amen. For your brother in Christ, for the servant of the Lord. Amen. That God would continue to have his way in my life. Oh, yes. Amen. The apostle Paul said we wrestle flesh against the spirit. Amen. Yes, there is a wrestling. Amen. So there are times when things come in our life and it causes us to wrestle in the spirit, but we must be assured of this. Amen. The Bible says, he that sows to the flesh shall reap to the flesh corruption, but he that sows to the spirit shall reap to the spirit everlasting life. Amen. The joy of the Lord has to be your strength and my strength on this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen, Lord, for allowing me, oh Lord, to continue in your grace and continue in your mercy. Anybody say that this morning, that it was the mercies of God. It was because the mercies of God, amen, that I have not been consumed, that I have not been taken out of this life, that I have not been cast down, that the devil has not destroyed me. It is the mercies of God that I have not been overwhelmed Amen. As I walk in the land of the living. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. His name is Jehovah. His name is Jehovah. Amen. Hallelujah. The God and Father of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of my soul. Yes, Jesus is the Lord of my soul. And yes, 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 there's trouble on every hand. Amen. But I know, I know who my battle acts is. I know who's Amen. fighting my battle. Hallelujah. And I thank him this morning. He's going to supply every one of our Need. He's gonna he's gonna open up his windows, amen, and pour into your life, amen. He's gonna cause you to cast down every weight and the sin that so easily besets his children this morning. Amen. So I thank him once again. Amen. I don't mean to worry you. I just want to honor God this morning. I don't mean to trouble you, but I just want to give him praise this morning. I don't mean, amen, to bother you. Amen. But I've just got to tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Amen. Uh, uh, you, you've been through some things, but you're still standing. Amen. You didn't know how it was going to turn out, but you're still standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I feel a renewed strength. I feel a renewed Amen. strength. Amen. In the midst of everything that is happening, there's a renewal of the strength to run on to see what the end's going to be. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I need you this morning, my beloved brothers and sisters. I need you to join me in the book of Psalms, the book of the Psalms, amen, chapter 27, amen, the book of the Psalms, I'll say it till you find it, amen, the book of the Psalms, chapter 27, I want to give you time, amen, to find it in your Bible, amen, to find it on your device, amen, on your iPhone, on your, on your tablet, amen, on your, on your, on whatever device you are using. The book of Psalms, chapter 27. There is a word from the Lord. How many know that time is filled with swift transitions? None on earth unmoved can stand. Build your hope 
I need somebody this morning to build your hope on things eternal. I know you got to go to work if the Lord allows tomorrow. I know you're going to be on a job. I know you got to make an income. I know that you're going to come home and do something. But build your hopes on things eternal. Amen. Don't don't put all your trust, amen, in, in men, amen, in women, amen, in everything in this world. Build your hope on things eternal. Love, amen. Love your family, amen. Love Love your children, love your parents, amen. Love your friends, but build your hope on things eternal. Hold, hold on to God's unchanging hand, amen. Somebody needs to hear this morning. Hold to God's unchanging hand, amen. You are going through a season, amen, but you got to hold to God's unchanging hand. Psalm 27. Psalm 27, amen. And I pray that you have it this morning. Amen. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version. Amen. And, and going to be making some reference that the Spirit has given me. Amen. To the King James Version. Amen. In the New International Version, the Bible says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Hallelujah. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my in it, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And fall. Though an army besiege against me, my heart will not fear. Amen. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For the day, in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Amen. Do not reject me or forsake me. God, my Savior, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in the straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn over to the desire of my foes for false witnesses. Rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. Hallelujah. I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalm 27. Amen. And I want to focus there. Amen. On verse number 13. I pray that it is going to be a blessing to you as it is to me this morning. I remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I want to preach to you this morning. Yes, I want to preach. I want to encourage your heart. I want to strengthen someone this morning. I want to move against the amen, the enemy, our enemy Satan, amen, who is in the midst of the world today. I want to preach from this thought this morning. The good, the bad, the unknown. The good, the bad, the unknown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalms 27 is a psalm uh, or a song because the psalms are simply, amen, poetry uh, that is applied to music where, where they sing these psalms. They sing these songs. See, we have not understood. They were singing these songs, these testimonies, amen, in worship to the Lord to acknowledge the presence and the goodness of God, amen, in the midst of their lives. Amen. The Bible lets us know there is nothing, there is nothing 
that you and I are going through that is not common to all men. Somewhere, everywhere, somebody is going through something. I don't care whether they're rich, whether they're poor, whether they're black, whether they're white, whether they're Hispanic, whether they're Oriental. I don't care. They're male, they're female, they're young, they're old. They are going through something. And even in the midst as we go along in life and we go about in certain environments and certain places and every now and then we get there and we'll have a time of fellowship and we'll have a time where the laughter and the smiles, amen, are abundant. But then we will enter into a place that causes the smile to leave, that maybe even causes just for a moment the joy that is in us to, to pass away because we find ourselves in a place of burden. We find ourselves in a place of unfamiliar territory because we had not brought it upon ourselves, but all of a sudden, as the psalmist said, the time is filled with swift transition. It simply means, swift transition simply means that changes come sometimes so quickly that we are unprepared as it seems for what is going to happen. It does not have to be something where somebody it personally comes against you. It may be that you go to the doctor and all of a sudden the doctor tells you something, amen, that is not a good report. He may tell you that you have an affliction in your body. It may be that you have worked hard on your job and all of a sudden they come to you and tell you that this business is shutting down and they're closing the door and your employment is needed no longer. It may be that you have been in your marriage, faithful in your marriage, and all of a sudden you find that one or the other, male or female spouses, decide, amen, that you are no longer fit for them, that they find fault in you, amen, and they want to move on or they have found someone better. It may be that your children who you gave your heart and your life to, all of a sudden they turn against you as if you've done nothing for them. Hallelujah. Time is filled with swift transition. David understood this when he was writing the psalm by the Spirit of the Lord. David had a relationship with God. The Word of God, we've heard it many times before. God decreed that David was a man after his own heart. David had in his character something which God loved about this man, David, to the point where he was going to elevate David in the course of his his life into a position, amen, that would bring even more glory to God. But God understood that there was also something in David, amen, because of the nature of sin in his life that would cause David to be troubled along the way. But how many know that our troubles, amen, are sent by God and allowed by God, amen, to try us, to purge us, to clean us, to build us up and make us stronger. Somebody listening to me, there's some things that have happened in your past that would make you cry. But when those things happen right now, you shake them all. Hallelujah. Somebody say, shake them all. You shake them all. Amen. And they don't bother you like that anymore. Amen. There are people one time that used to make you sad all the time. Amen. Because of the ways that they would act toward you in their life. But now when they do those things, you find yourself not hanging your head. You find yourself not shedding tears. You find yourself not chasing after them like they're God Almighty. But but you straighten up and say, Lord, lead me that I might follow you. Lord, I'm putting my trust in you because I know you're going to take care of me. David understood this. He declared, amen. He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Do you really understand? I wonder today, amen. Do we really understand what salvation is? Because when you look at the concept, when you look at the idea of, of salvation, 
salvation, amen, in the Old Testament as compared to the New Testament. David understood the Lord in the dark places of my life, in the times when I'm going through something and I can't see my way clear. I've been there. You've been there. If you haven't gotten there, you're going to end up going there. There are times when you don't see the end of a situation. Amen. It's a darkness in the spirit. It's a darkness in the mind. Amen. Because you can't see what brought this upon me. Why am I in the midst of this? That is a spiritual darkness. Amen. It may be materialized and it may, it may manifest itself in your life. Amen. In any aspect of your life that you're going through. But it is a darkness. And David declared, what I'm going through right now is the I'm in a dark place. I'm in a place, amen, where I don't understand. Amen. I don't know how to get out because I really don't know how I got in here. Amen. But he said, there is a way if I ever come to the light. That's why the Bible says Jesus is the light. Amen. Of the world. He is our light. Amen. Then it says he is our salvation. Salvation is twofold in the life of the believer. I want somebody to understand right now. There are people, amen, I even walked in that one time, believe that it is the way that I live my life that will cause me to be saved. The Bible says you are not saved by any work that you and I do. You see, we were sinful creatures. We were we were cut off from the Lord. We were undone, amen, in the sight of God, amen. But we needed salvation. We needed somebody who could do for us eternally what we could not do, amen. Salvation not only means that you're saved from a situation, saved from a circumstance, saved from a particular uh, 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 mindset. It means that you are delivered Amen. From that which is designed to destroy you. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about the good, the bad, and the unknown. Uh, David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. That's the yeah. good. That's the good. Whom will I fear? Mm. Who have I got to be afraid of in life? Amen. Because the, you got to understand this. Everyone, it's appointed to everyone that has ever been born upon the first of the earth. We're going to die. That's right. That's 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 bad to us because it uh, it depends on the state you're in when you die. Hallelujah. Amen. You must understand that is an unknown because we don't know many times. Even as we read in scripture, we're only given a glimpse of what is on the other side. But God allows us to walk in this world and in this life that he has placed you and I in. David said, while I'm in this life, amen, I'm walking, amen, in the light of God. He is the one who keeps me each and every day. What did the psalmist say? After all I've been through, I'm still here. Amen. I know I'm talking to somebody, amen, who's had some heartache. I know I'm talking to somebody who has had some medical situation. I know I'm talking to somebody who is coming to some financial, amen, storm, but you're still here. You're still here. Amen. And because you're still here, the problem is because I've walked in and I've experienced it. Too many times we take on all of these worries. We take on all of this burden. Why? Because we're we're trying to make it right in our own eyes. I had to learn the hard way, my beloved sisters, my beloved brothers. I had to learn the hard way. I can't make anyone do anything right. I can't. I have a hard time making myself do right. Hallelujah. But there is somebody that is a man, amen, who is able to come into your life and into my life, amen, and make the crooked places straight. I know I'm talking about, I tried and for myself. I'm talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The, the Bible says there, amen, he says in the New International Version, he says, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Now, I know the Apostle Paul lets us know that the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God, even to the pulling down 
a stronghold. Because you got to understand, strongholds, amen, can either be good or bad. Think about the word in, in, in the simplest form. It is a stronghold. It is something that's got a hold on you. And the and the energy is strong. You can't shake it. Amen. And the, when you look at that stronghold, it is a sense where we walk in addictions. We walk in a mindset where we feel low self-esteem. We feel less than somebody. There's a stronghold in our mind. Amen. That make us think that we can't accomplish things in this life that God has allowed us to walk in because something has been placed in our mind. Something has been placed in our spirit that tell us you can't make it. The devil's trying to tell somebody, you can't make it. The devil's trying to keep somebody in bondage. That's a stronghold of the enemy. But Paul said the weapons that we use, amen, they are mighty through God, even to the pulling down of stronghold. This is why David begins this psalm with the praise and an acknowledgement of who God is. Because somewhere along the way, he learned that if I praise the Lord, if I honor God, God. He will inhabit my praises. He will come right in the midst of where I am. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? I know, amen, in the natural, amen, TBFM, we are not where we had a desire to be, amen. We had wanted to be right now, even now, in an edifice, amen, that we might fellowship in the Lord, amen. But the season that God has us into, I've come to understand it's a purging, it's a pruning, it's a separating, it's a cleansing, it's a delivering, it's a strengthening, amen, right where you are. Somebody's getting strong right where you are, right in the midst of the situation. David said, he is not only the light in the dark place where I am. The Lord is my salvation. He's my deliverer. Amen. Amen. He is my stronghold. Amen. See, when you understand a stronghold, a stronghold, amen, is something that has you enveloped. The stronghold is something that you're, amen, captive in. You can't get out of that stronghold because it has a, a hold on you, either in mind, in spirit, in emotion. It may be a stronghold physically where you have a physical disability, but it attacks your mind because it makes you think that I can't accomplish this. I can't have joy in life. I can't have peace in life. I can't walk in victory in life. But how many know, amen, this is the battlefield, amen, of the believer in your mind. That's why Paul tells the church at Romans, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourself a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, which is the least thing that you can do. Sacrifice yourself. Say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord. David said, you are my life. You are my salvation. You are my stronghold of my life. In whom shall I be afraid? What is there that's going on around me since everybody's going to die? And we know that we're coming to death. What do I have to be afraid of? Amen. That's the good, the bad, and the unknown is you don't know when you you're going to die. I don't know when I'm going to die, but I can set myself, amen, in a place in the Lord where I will know, hallelujah, that the Lord is keeping me. For yeah, Jesus said, yeah. he, he who believeth on me, though he were dead, yet he shall live again. That's the promise of eternal life. The good, the bad, the unknown. David goes on to say, when the wicked advance against me, when the wicked advance against me, in, in the King James Version, it says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat me up. The NIV says to devour me. When you devour something, you consume them, amen, completely, amen, to where there's nothing left. There is no semblance that they've ever been there. There's nothing that says that they were ever a part of this environment or this life they were in. And that's what the devil does. He moves in the lives of people, amen, yeah. to make you feel like you're worthless, like there's no good, like there's nothing that can come out of you. But the devil is alive. Jesus, uh, David said, when the wicked advance on me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble. Amen. Believe this, beloved. 
Jesus Christ himself, there's going to come a time, amen, when even they of your own household, amen, will be your foe. It may be a husband. It may be a wife. Amen. Lying, amen. Deceiving, mistreating, abusing, amen. And you love them, amen. But understand there is a spirit at work. There's a spirit at work. You pray, but Jesus said there's something that are only overcome through fasting and prayer. Amen. As you walk this life and you're seeking to serve God, amen. it may be a time that people are going to depart from you. Don't worry about it. Don't mistreat them. Don't feel evil towards them. Know that God is working it out in your life. Hallelujah. David said, when they come upon me, amen, to devour me, it's them that's going to stumble. It's them that's going to fall. Amen. Said, though an army besiege me, when a whole group of people Amen. Make up in their mind that you are no good. There's nothing they can get from you. They don't want to be bothered with you anymore. And you've done all that you can do that you understand that is right in the Lord. And sometimes it's designed to break you down. Sometimes it's designed, amen, to cause you to give up. But throw your hands up. Don't give up. Throw your hands up. Don't give up. Throw your hands up and say, Lord, here I am. Lead me and guide me. Be the light in the midst of dark, the good, the bad, the unknown. See, because you don't know what's lying ahead, but the Lord knows. The Lord knows the end from the beginning. Right there where you are, right in the situation, amen, that sometimes is unpleasant. Sometimes the situation is not conducive to peace. Sometimes the situation is not conducive to, to quietness, amen, to having just a moment of peace. But God has already given you a way of escape. God has already and made a place of rest, amen, and of peace for you. Just trust him. Just believe him. Just call on him. Amen. David said, amen, the war break out against me. Even then will I be confident. Amen. Even then, when I look up and see all the things that are happening around me, amen, the economy, yes, is shaking. Our political system is in turmoil. And the nation is divided. The world is on the brink of war. Amen. But I'm confident in this, that he who has begun a good work in you, he that has begun a good work in me, amen, he's able to perform it until Jesus our Lord comes again. you got to believe that this morning, that we're not working this. We're not living this life for a man or for a woman. We're not living this life, amen, for a political party. We're not living this life for a nation. We're living this life for Jesus Christ, amen. About in him, we move, we live, and we have our being. Give God praise this morning. Tell God, Thank you this morning, amen, for trusting us, amen, for walking with us, amen, for holding us up, amen, for providing for us. Somebody this morning, amen, you know it was nothing but the goodness of the Lord, amen. The enemy came even in the things, in the material things, your, your car, your house, amen, your electronic. They came in, amen, and tried to turn things upside down. But you just said a simple prayer, Lord, have mercy. You said, Lord, when you're Mind the Lord, amen, of what he promised you. Lord, you said, amen, you fight my battle. Lord, you said you will supply all my needs. Lord, you said, amen, you will cause me to be the head and not the tail. You said it, Lord, and because you said it, I'm, Lord, I'm calling on you. I'm trusting on you, Lord, that you will, you will honor your word in my life. Does anybody believe that this morning? That's why you study to show yourself approved. That's why you hide the word of God in you so that the Holy Spirit can bring back to your remember whatsoever the Lord has promised you and I. Amen. Amen. Then the psalmist says, one thing I ask from the Lord. This is David. Understand the time that David was in. He said, the only thing do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. At the time, amen, of David's walking upon the face of the earth. 
They had not yet, amen, built the temple of Solomon. There was no uh, 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 permanent structure, amen, where they could go and worship corporately, amen. But the Lord had given them the Ark of the Covenant, this small consecrated box in which were the Ten Commandments. And the Lord told them that there I would rest my spirit, amen, in that box. And they honored and would take that box wherever they went, amen. And as they went, amen, they did not have a physical structure. So they would set up a tent, a great tent, amen, in which they would go in, where the priest would go in, amen, and inquire of the Lord. And the people will assemble outside the Lord, amen. But David understand, amen, spiritually, prophetically, he understand that there was a temple, amen, built to honor God. He could see it in his spirit. He said, this one thing I desire, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. I want to be in your presence, Lord. I want to be, amen, so close to you, Lord, because I know in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. In the presence of the Lord, there is liberty. Amen. The problem, amen, that rests in so many of us right now that we don't understand. God is not confined to a building. God is not confined to a great edifice. But the Bible says, know ye not that that body that you have, I don't care what state it is, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that body that you have is the temple of the Holy Spirit of the living creator God. Amen. And in him dwell, amen, all the word and the fullness of the Lord. So while you understand that I may not be in a particular building, amen, I don't have to be, amen. I love being in fellowship with the believers, amen. But the times when you're by yourself and you need the Lord to move on your behalf. Amen. And I don't have time to wait for Sunday to get in the church house. I don't have time, amen, to wait for Wednesday night to get in the prayer meeting. I got to have a prayer meeting where I am, wherever I am by myself. I got to have some church within me. Amen. I got to know the Lord so that I might call on him. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I might call on the Father. Amen. And Jesus said, if you ask the Father, anything in my name according to his will. It will be given unto you. Is there anybody need peace right now? Is there anybody need deliverance right now? Is there anybody right now need joy? Is there anybody right now need gladness in your life? I'm here to tell you right now, there's the good, the bad, and the unknown. David says when the good comes, I'm going to bless the Lord. When the bad comes, I'm going to bless the Lord. When I don't know what's ahead, I'm going to still bless the Lord. Why? Why? Because I have to go through while I'm down here on this earth. Jesus said, in this life, we're going to have trials and we're going to have tribulation. He said, but you be of good courage. You be of good cheer. You keep your head lifted up. You keep your shoulders square. Amen. You walk with the confidence in Christ. Amen. Not in ourselves. Not in what we can do. But what Christ can do in us. The Bible says, I can do all things. Through Christ, which strengthens me. Is there anybody this morning that knows that what you're doing is because of Christ who strengthens you? Amen. You say, preacher, I don't know how I did it. Amen. I don't know how I did it. Amen. But somehow he made, I made it. Somehow I made it. Then when I look back over my life and realize it was the Lord that has brought me through. It was the Lord that kept me and he's keeping me right now. Somebody lift your hands and say hallelujah. Somebody and say hallelujah this morning. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank you, Lord. I got clothes on my back. Amen. I got food to eat. I got a roof over my head. Thank you, Lord. It may not be what I want to eat, but it's what I need. It may not be what I want to wear, but it's what I need. It may not be, amen, where I want to stay. Amen. But I got a roof over my head. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God is fighting your battle. The good, the bad, and the unknown. David said, I want to be in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Well, God said, I'll make it so I'll be in your, in you all the days of your life. You are my temple. You are the one, amen, that when the praise begins, see, sometimes we think that we got to get into the church house, amen, to have a good time. But I don't know about you. When the Lord, amen, brings his blessings in my life, right where I am, I tell him hallelujah. I tell him thank you, amen. I don't have to have a 
a choir around me to break out in song to say that this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. I don't have to have someone backing me up that said, he made a way. <laughs> When it seemed like there, it seemed like the, the end and everything was against me. He made a way. Hallelujah. When it looked like you were about to fall, he made a way. When it looked like it was it was all over, he made a way. Aren't you glad this morning? Amen. He makes a way out of no way. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Even when it seemed like you're by yourself, even when people don't understand, amen. When the good come, praise them. When the bad come, when you don't know what's going to come, praise God. Lift up the name of Jesus. Declare him in the heaven. Declare him in the midst of, of the unbeliever. Just open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and out of your heart declare that Jesus is good. God is good. Jehovah, hallelujah, he's my provider. Jehovah, he's my healer. Jehovah, amen, he's my, he's my sword. Jehovah, he's my strength. Hallelujah, he's my everything. He is my heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. He says, now listen. He said, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in the temple. For in the day of trouble, he's going to keep me. Anybody's had some trouble going on here lately? Amen. Anybody had some troubling in your life? I'm not talking about things that breaking down your body. I'm not. I'm talking about trouble in your way. You had to cry. Trouble in your way. You didn't know how to fix it. Trouble in your way. You didn't have enough money. Amen. For what it cost. Trouble in your way. It seemed like the one that you put confidence in has walked off and left you. Trouble in your way. And you realize God says I've already listen to this. God says I've already given you Everything that you need to bring me glory. Everything that you need to know that it was me. And when it happens, you're going to say, it was nobody. It was nobody but the Lord, amen, that kept me. Nobody but the Lord that brought me. I'm, I'm believing right now there is a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough right now. Hallelujah. God said, I'm bringing you into the season of breakthrough. I had to separate. I had to reduce, amen, so that you would stop looking at people and start looking looking at me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, for in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his secret tent. And he set me upon a rock. See, they understood back then that in the midst of that, that society, that the strongest thing, amen, they, they had these mountains, amen. And when the enemy came against them, amen, and they were in the midst, amen, because they were on the sea or, or they, they walk in the sand. You know how it is when you walk in the sand, your feet shift, amen, and your feet go down. And sometimes it causes you to slip. And there are times, amen, when it will cause you to stumble and even fall, amen. But David said, when I place my foot, the Lord will keep me on a rock. He will keep me on a firm foundation that no matter what I'm going through, I can just turn to the Lord and say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need your mercy. Lord, I need your keeping power. Lord, I need your abundance. Lord, I need your increase. Lord, I need your healing. Lord, I need your deliverance. Whatever it is you need from God. I want you to hear what I said. Whatever it is I, you need from God. There's a whole lot of things we want, but I'd rather the Lord supply my need than all the mess that I have wanted in life. I got a hold of a whole lot of mess that I wanted, and I found out all that mess and all them people that I wanted around me and and I thought that I wanted in my life, they turned out to be things that were bringing me down. But when I laid hold, amen, and held on to God's unchanging hand, amen, he gives us everything we need, amen. Walk in joy, walk in peace, walk in love, walk in gladness, walk in the victory this morning. I'm talking about the good, the bad, and the unknown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, hear my voice. When I call, Lord, be merciful unto me and answer. Look at what David said. He said, be merciful unto me. Lord, I'm coming to you. I don't deserve your goodness. 
I don't deserve how good you really are to me. There's nothing I can do, Lord, that will impress you, amen, that I deserve the favor that you place in my life. There's nothing, Lord. Even as I see things coming upon me, even as I see things unfolding in my life, amen, that are designed to destroy me, that are designed for me to doubt you, Lord. No, Lord, when you hear my voice when I call, be merciful unto me, for my heart says, seek your faith. Don't worry about what God is able to give. Just get close to him. Amen. Just get intimate Amen. with him. Yeah. Just get to know him. Amen. When you get to know him and you know the ways of the Lord, you will understand how God moves. He doesn't move like you and I move. He doesn't move like humanity does. The Bible says the ways of God, amen, are different than our way. They are the ways of the Lord, amen, are so high above us. They are as far as the east is from the west, amen, the north is from the south are the ways of God from the ways of man but what we have to do is start to seek his faith so that we will walk into the presence of the Lord walk in fellowship with him and understand Jesus said learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart even the greatness that I have I am meek. I am meek for your sakes. Amen. I am lowly in heart for your sake that you will understand even in the greatness that I have, I'm concerned about you in the midst of the good, the bad, and the unknown. Then David says, and I'm almost through. David says, do not reject me or forsake me. Yes, even when those that are dearest to me he used the example of his father and mother forsaking him. David is not talking about they abandoned him. They're talking about the fact that his father and his mother have passed away. They have gone on. His father, Jesse, his mother. Amen. And where David is in life right now, there are times sometimes, beloved, and I know you've been there, where even those that are closest to you seem so far away. Amen. And because they seem so far away, you, amen, need someone that you can connect with. You need someone that you can hold on to. Amen. And know that he will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll never disappoint you. He'll never lie on you. He'll never false accuse you. He'll never abuse you. He'll never treat you like dirt. Amen. He's the one that made us from dirt. Thank you. But what he will do, he will just uphold you with his love, his yes. mercy, yes. and his righteousness. Can I, can I get a witness this morning yes. that that's what the Lord will do? Yes. David said, don't forsake me. When my mother and father forsake me, when they're gone, amen, the Lord will take me up. The NIV says, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Teach me your way, Lord. Lord, let me read. You left the, You left your holy script. You left what we call the Bible. Lord, let me read your word. Let me learn of what you say. Let me learn of your character. Let me learn and see how you work on behalf of the other. What you've done for others, Lord, because you're the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you've done for others, you're going to do for me Amen. when I seek your faith says, do not turn me over to the desires of my foe for false witness sake. Rise up against me. And I'm now closing because when you've gone through the good, when you are experiencing the bad, when you don't know what lies ahead, yes, yes. David said, and you're hide this inside of you. David said, I remain confident of this. <laughs> I will see the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm going to see God's goodness. <laughs> Not just when I go into my eternal rest, but when I'm down here in 2024, I'm going to see uh, the goodness of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to see that when my heart is broken, he's going to fulfill his word in Matthew chapter 4, where he says, I come to mend the brokenhearted. He's going to fulfill his word. He's going to say, I'm 
have come to preach the gospel to them that are in darkness. Hallelujah. He's going to come for the lost. David said, I am confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. Has there anybody here right now seen the goodness of the Lord while you're in this life? Amen. I'm not talking about some other life. Like somebody said, I live another life. The only life I know is the one I'm living now. But I realize I can give God praise because I've seen the goodness of the Lord while I'm living in this life. For 70, nearly 71 years, amen, I have seen the goodness of the Lord. Sometimes I didn't even know it was God. Sometimes I didn't even acknowledge it was God. But how many know it was the grace of God that has kept you and me. It was the grace of God, amen, that brought us this far. It was the grace of God that allowed us, amen, to make it. And then he showed his mercy in our life. He gave us the thing that we didn't deserve, even in the midst of the good, the bad, and the unknown. The Bible says, I desire to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Just hold on, beloved. Just hold out, beloved. You're going to see the goodness of the Lord while you're right here. You might have an affliction in your body, but you're going to see the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Your money may be funny and your change may be strange, but you're going to see the goodness of the Lord. You may be living in a time and a generation, amen, that seems so confused and so chaotic, but you're going to see the goodness of the Lord. All you have to do is declare, the Lord has said, if I keep my mind stayed on him, he's going to keep me in perfect peace. He's going to keep me sober. He's going to keep me watchful. He's going to keep me prayerful. He's going Gonna allow me to stand up and walk through this season that I'm going through. Amen. I'm gonna walk through the storm. I'm gonna speak to the mountain. The mountain's gonna move. I'm gonna go over the river. Amen. In my way. Amen. I'm gonna go down in the valley and I will not fear for thy rod and thy staff. The word of God and your Holy Spirit. They comfort me. They give me peace. They give me joy. I'm confident in this thing. I'm gonna see God's working in the land of the living. I may not be rich, but he's supplying every one of my needs. I may not be famous, but he gives me love all around. Amen. I may not be the most influential, but God has given me somebody that when I open my mouth, hallelujah, when I declare of his goodness, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Amen. I may not realize that down through the years of my life, I didn't know who kept me. I was looking sometimes it would say it was mama. Amen. Sometimes it was daddy. But then my mama was gone and my daddy was gone and I learned that the Lord is the one that's keeping me and keeping you right now. He said wait on the Lord. Amen. And be of good courage. Wait on the Lord. I say I want to tell you right now we've been walking through the good I heard the psalmist say, I've had some good days, hallelujah, and I've had some bad days. Has anybody had some good days, and anybody had some bad days? He said, but when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh my bad days. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're the goodness in my life. You're the righteousness in my life. You're the one that's keeping me in the midst midst of the good, in the midst of the bad, amen, in the midst of the unknown, you're going to be there, you were there yesterday, you're here right now, and amen, Lord, if you allow, if it be your will, and I live to see tomorrow, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I thank God right now, I know the one who holds my tomorrow, and because he lives, I can face tomorrow, I don't know, amen, what the enemy has prepared, but you promised me, Lord, that there's no weapon, no weapon that is formed against your children that is going to prosper. Amen. So all we have to do is honor you, be obedient to you, glorify you in all that we do, whether in word or in deed, in spite of the good, the bad, and the unknown. Hallelujah. 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 Think about it, beloved. And I'm closing. Think about it. That the Lord has been with you and I. He's been with you and I. Amen. Throughout our life. 
even when we did not know him, he knew us from before the foundation of the world. The Lord knew each one of us, and he knew where we would be this day, and he's kept us, amen, in spite of the good, in spite of the bad, and in spite of the unknown, the Lord is keeping us. There may be someone out there. I don't know. I don't know. Amen. Who is going to hear this message? But I challenge you. Jesus said, learn of me. Learn of me. Don't learn about Donnie Lynch. Amen. I'm just a nobody trying to tell anybody about somebody who will save anybody. Hallelujah. And that's all you have to do is to put your trust in the Lord, and he will, he will do just what he said. God bless you, amen, my brother.